Click once, click twice, instant supports where you want them in Cura. I'll show you how to do it on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. In a previous video, I showed you this plugin for Cura where you can place rounded or cylindrical supports wherever you want them. You just go to plugins and you look for cylindric custom supports and install that. And once that's installed, you can put supports where you want. And it's got cylinders, tubes, cubes, abutments, and these allow you to put supports where you want them with a single click. What I didn't talk about in that video is the custom support. In this case, you click twice and it'll form a support between those two points. So if I click on his wrist and then I click near his body under his arm, it'll form a support where I want it, but all the way across the arm with those two clicks. And just like the single click supports, I don't click the generate support box but I have access to all the Cura support features. So I can change the pattern to grid in this case. And so when I slice it, then I'll have a grid pattern supporting the arm, but only under the arm where I put it, not supports everywhere, which I would get if I would have checked the generate support box. So this can be very handy if you need a lot of supports, but in specific locations. Like say I want to go across the hand. I would click two points, one, two, and it forms a support. Now the supports always go down to the base. They go straight down. Well, kind of, because you can adjust that with one of your clicks. So let's say I want to support the wrist, but I want it to touch the base at a certain point. So I make that the second click, and then you get a support at that location. Say I want the support to go in a different direction. I click once on the arm, then I click back on the base where I want it to go, and it forms a triangle leading up to the arm. The one thing I wish it could do is click between two points of the model. So if I click on the arm and then click on a point on a leg, I would hope it would form a support between those two, but it doesn't. It always goes all the way to the base. Removing a support is two clicks as well. Click once till it turns blue, click on it again and it disappears. And you can do smaller supports. Click at two points on the arm here and two more points and you have two separate supports where you want them, but they're the beam type, not individual posts. So this can be handy as well. One thing I found is the individual posts didn't work as well on smaller prints, and this one is 30% the size of the original. So I wanna see if these beams work a little better on miniature prints. And here's the result on my Ender 3 V2 with a 0.4 nozzle. One of the support beams didn't make it. This one printed really well, and I used a 20% infill. Maybe a little bit more would have allowed this beam to you know, stay together and not string up on me. But this one under the hand printed better than I thought. I actually made this too small. This should have been a little bit bigger, but it held the hand. But overall, I still need to work on my ability to print miniatures. I found tree supports work better for me on miniatures than these type of supports. Give it a try and let me know what you think of these custom supports. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the videos that are popping up. And if nothing else, click on that Chep logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.